life here in the campus is nice and I hope that not only scientifically or you, you fulfill all your expectations to come here, especially those coming from abroad. And I am very happy that you find out the time and also the opportunity to visit the Universidad Autónoma de Madrid. A long time we were more and more impressed about the changing perspectives of his research moving from the study of microorganisms living there to its application for mineral extraction and finally to considering this microenvironment as an analog of Mars. This of course broadens the interest of Rio Tinto and in addition creates an intellectually challenging and multidisciplinary field of research. You can mimic the properties of a living system without having to use biochemistry. Would you call that life? It depends on what you call life. But if what you call, if you call with the name life, is a system that is capable of handling information, of able to metabolize, make its own parts, which is capable of self-constructing itself, and which is capable of changing and passing things to its children, you can actually do it in this type of construction. Well, much of the interest in Rio Tinto as an analog is in the oxidation of pyrite. It all begins with that pyrite. And so I did a dissertation in the modern Black Sea a bunch of years ago. And the Black Sea is characterized by being the world's largest modern environment devoid of oxygen. So most of that water column that you see um, is free of oxygen and generating lots and lots of pyrite. The first half of its history, there was no oxygen in the atmosphere. 80, 90% of Earth's history, there was no oxygen in most of the ocean. Yet through it all, life evolved and life thrived, and it developed into the complex world that we know today. And so one of the questions we've been asking is how could Earth develop and sustain life in the face of so many challenges, such a dynamic series of events? We know that we've had liquid water on our planet's surface going back more than 4 billion years ago, by some estimates 4.3 billion years ago. And the current best estimates for life go back at least 3.7 billion years ago, and by some arguments as far back as 4.1 billion years ago.